Hi guys, um, oh wait, I haven't even shut my microphone. Oh man, why am I the worst ever? Okay, one sec. Okay, hi guys, we'll try again. I just wanted to say first off a huge thank you to any support that I've been left, anyone that's already watched some of my videos. Um, I've been really, really nervous about doing this um, and it's been a long time coming. So thank you guys so much for any support that you've left me and um, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. So the reason why I'm looking incredibly bare-faced today is because I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the September Birch Box, which is super, super shiny because of my light. Um, but normally they do have some makeup products in there and there is one makeup product but the majority of it is like skincare slash sort of just stuff that you would use for getting ready so I thought that I would do it quite bare faced today so I apologise for the state of my eyebrows and my face. They always have these cute little signs that sort of say what the whole intention is about, um, what the whole box's intention is basically. So this one is on top of your world, which is something that I really wish I was on top of at the moment because I'm trying to balance full-time work, freelance work, a YouTube channel and a blog. So the struggle is real, but hopefully some of these products are implying that they'll give me some productivity. So let's get into it. The first product they have, I'm not actually going to put it on my face because it is the makeup side of things and I want to do my like skincare stuff because I am going to go to bed in a few hours um, so I didn't want to put on like a full face makeup right before I go to bed um, just for the sake of one blush but this will be appearing in another video soon it's the California look at my creepy like eight pans is the California blush by Benefit and if it's one thing I would say of Birchbox it's that they've actually sent through a lot of Benefit products in their time I've tried the pore primer, some of the eyebrow products, a bronzer, I've tried the hula bronzer. So actually quite a lot of my benefit collection has been from Birchbox, which is really, really cool. Um, but I am gonna be doing a full face of benefit at some point. Um, so let me know if you would like to see that. Um, so this is just a sunny golden pink blush, but the best thing about it is the smell. It smells like pink grapefruit and vanilla um which is really similar i can't i can't get to it right now but i have the gold rush one so you could pick which one you wanted you could have the california one or the gold rush one but i already have the gold rush one so, blah, 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 the gold rush one so i decided to go for this one um because i've not tried it before it's a really really nice like peachy sort of color um so i am looking forward to putting it on my face at some point just not today so Ooh. I love the cute little packaging, it's so cute. Yes, so thank you very much Birchbox, very excited for that. I don't know why I keep saying thank you to Birchbox, like they've just sent it to me like of their own goodwill. Please do at some point, that'd be great. So the next product I have literally seen on Facebook every single day for the past like month. My hands look like trash. It's the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Finish Perfection Exfoliating Treatment. That is a mouthful. So I was really, really excited when I saw this because I love clay treatments. I love clay skincare. I just love it. I, I've used the L'Oreal clay skincares before and I really, really liked it. Um, this one says always patch test before use. We'll give it a go anyway. It says, this three in one scrub invigorates all skin types in just five minutes. Macadamia seed gently exfoliates, pink clay clears pores, and Australian finger lime provides that lit from within glow, which is what I am living for at the moment. I absolutely love not like wearing any foundation on at the moment, so that's my thing. <laughs> It's really thick. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting it to feel that thick. It does feel like exfoliating, but not like scratchy. Like I find a lot of these exfoliating ones like just rip off your skin. It does not smell good. <laughs> Got a load of these little like dusty fibre things, which I guess is the exfoliating macadamia seeds. Is that what you said about? 
Um, I mean, it's actually just like sank into my skin. What the heck? I don't think it's supposed to do that. It has kind of given me a glow though. Or is that just my ring light? Who knows? So, so what I'm gonna do from with my birch box things from now on is I'm gonna do a first impressions on my YouTube channel and then I'll do a full review after I've used the products for like a week because I think that it's unfair to judge a product on first impressions feels okay. Yeah, I didn't like the smell. It does feel quite nice though. And I think I do look a bit more glowy than usual. Hmm. Next up is the Marcel City 24 hour anti-pollution day and night moisturing emulsion. Um, so I don't live in a city, so this isn't actually intended for me. Um, it's supposed to be for people that like commute a lot and go into cities and stuff. I'm very fortunate to live in the countryside, so I don't really, I don't really get that. But I'm always up for a good moisturiser. So let's try this bad boy out. So it it's also cruelty free, which is great. It's just like that. It's like a little, it just looks like a moisturiser to be fair, but it's like more foamy, I think. It looks more moussey. Um, it's cruelty free formula provides long lasting hydration and visibly brightens. Apply morning and night for a fresh, healthy complexion. Wow, I live for healthy. Complexions. It feels really nice. Doesn't feel like super super greasy, which is what I struggle with with a lot of moisturisers because I have oily skin. It just does not ever do what's right for me. I still got those dripping macadamia seams all over my face. Uh, they put quite a lot of Marcel products in their boxes, and every single one I've liked, I've loved. So. I mean, not enough to ever buy it. <laughs> if you wanted to fill one of this bad boy, it would be £23, which is quite a lot of money, but if it works, it works. Like, my skin does feel super soft. Oh my gosh, what the heck? So next up is this. It's called This Works Perfect Legs Skin Miracle. So it's September, so I'm automatically in like autumn winter mode. So I'm wearing like everything that covers my legs up at the moment. Uh, so I'm not going to be trying this on my legs, um, which I know is probably a bit annoying because it does say it's for your legs, but ain't nobody want to see that right now. Um, it looks like fake tan. Oh no. <laughs> so I'm not going to put it on my face. Um, oh my gosh, okay. Look, it literally looks like fake tan. See? Um, I'm gonna put it on my arm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I'm scared of this because I have such sensitive skin and someone else has put something like this on me before and I came up in the biggest rash, so. That'll be fun. Ooh. It smells really good. Whether it's actually making a difference to my arm or not, I can't really tell. Well, as close of a tan as I'm ever going to get. Um, it just looks shimmery. There's like bits of glitter on my arm. I don't know if you guys can even see it because it's probably too bright with my ring light. But do some awkward arm positions to get you guys to see it. I think it probably would look really good on your legs. Fingers crossed that I don't come up in a huge rash. I would have preferred it to have come in like the August one or the July one when I actually have my legs out. Oh my gosh, it's like not even coming off either. Okay, well, I'm trapped with that on my hands forever now. And if you wanted that in full size, it's £37. They don't mess around. <laughs> Last but not least, this could have actually not come at a better time. Um, this is the Beauty Protector Protect and Blonde Toning Shampoo. As you guys can see, I've got like still some blonde at the back of at the back of my hair. It's at the back because I've tied it up at the bottom of my hair um, and it wasn't like this when I got it dyed so I'm really really disappointed it was like this really nice ashy blonde and actually when I got it done I was like more brunette everywhere but the blonde has just like 
come back it's just reared its ugly head again so I don't know how this has happened <laughs> but it makes me sad I actually used this today and I feel like it has made a bit of a difference um, in some areas like here like in the light a bit I didn't leave it on for as long as I should have done because um, I didn't want to I will continue using this every time that I wash my hair and I'll let you guys know the results um, if not I'm just gonna chop all my blonde off if you want that one then it's £23, which is like kind of pricey, but at the same time, I really, really like these beauty protector products. I've used one before, it was like a hair drying spray or something, I don't know. It was really, really good. Um, so I feel like with hair and skincare, I am more willing to spend a little bit more money if it like super amazes me. Um, so far it hasn't. But I guess it's one of those things that is gradual and over time. It's just like a normal toning shampoo. It's purple. So if you guys would like to see my full review, then that will be up at the end of this week on my blog. So make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram because that's where I update everything when I've got a new blog post. Or you can actually just follow me on my blog, which is at morgiereacts.com. Or you can follow me here and I will link it in the description at some point. So thank you guys so much for watching, um, I hope you like this video, please let me know if there's anything that you would like me to do or talk about or do a makeup look or anything like that because I would love to do so much more of them, I really really love filming and I love my damn camera turned off in the middle of my good bass beach. So thank you guys so much for watching, please subscribe and I will see you guys soon, bye! Oh no!